going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. Oh. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Hi, Dutch. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. I need to be alone. I don't need you all up on me right now. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure.
How is that food coming along, Mr. Pearson?
You want trouble with me? Never too soon, huh? Thanks, partner. Come on! Try and help people! I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? You take care. Use your... <coughs> Use your strength to help the weak! Yeah, they caught Jenny's boy pinching apples from the county store. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on now. Get moving, will you? Come on, please! Please, somebody, be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. Excuse me. Give more. You get that feller. Please, prove we ain't a land of savages. Come on, prove watch yourself. We're here for each other. Giving that we Welcome. receive the true I'm gifts sure of life that are eternal. After all the travel <laughs> that do. Why don't you grab some meat and cheese on my counter here? For that is what this country needs. To I can get you anything in there you need. All right. Enjoy. Okay then. Appreciate it. Nice. Enjoy. And that should be good. Sure, I'm always willing to stack up. Ain't nothing special, but sure. Don't really need it, but why not?
Real good doing business with you. This will blow a house Thank down you. for sure. Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Please! Please! 
I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Hey, get moving. Mister? I tell you, life ain't easy. Things will turn around. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to hear this. See ya. Hey. the true gifts of life that are eternal. <coughs> so give generously, for that is what this country needs, to help each other. Oh, it's you. <coughs> hey, Hello, mister. sir. Hey. Well, you're just full of charity, ain't you? Well, I'm just trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <coughs> you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay, <coughs> okay, sir. <coughs> Let's try and help each other. 
It's not about survival of the fittest. I'd stay well away from that oh, man back no. there. This is one for the lawman. Yeah. Oh my. Easy. Calm down now. We'll take care of it. trouble you making we don't tolerate shit like you around here make yourself scarce will do just a misunderstanding I'm done warning you get the hell out of here sorry <laughs> go around in circles here Hey, partner. Mister? Busy day? Shh. You're about to break my concentration. Well, keep at it. I'll be seeing you. You're getting robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Whoa, we don't need to do this. Come on. You got about one more second. Oh, God. Listen. Should have just given it to me.
Someone, come on. Read all about it. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Give a fellow a nickel. Wow, oh, new marksman in town. Welcome. How are you? How do you do? Let me see what's available. Don't listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. Well then. Well, I've been to a call here and mentioned that myself. Yeah, never mind. Worth a shot. Bet that piece could use a personal touch now that you've had it for some time. We could do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. That's more like it. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? See ya. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you! Howdy, stranger! News you wouldn't want to miss, right here. Howdy. 
Evening, mister. Well, time for me to head off. See you around. Have a nice evening. Well, man, uh... Evening. Heard that. Careful, big man. Open your eyes. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk. There's a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a Who's bitch your friend there? About the Newton twins. Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book. I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. <laughs> 